want, but I can't, bro. It's like two million degrees. Blow it up. They probably just fried that. Hello. Welcome back to our, our channel. channel. <laughs> Today we are heading to the vegan street fair. street fair and it's gonna be a little different of a video but I think it'll be a fun little adventure. Oh, and this is the fit for the day, a little girlies hoodie. Shout out to LaRae, love him the most. And then of course, gotta wrap the Vlex in. I kept the glam to a bare minimum today, just very simple, natural, a little pop of lash and same, yeah. I did an all natural glam today. <laughs> and that's basically it. We'll see y'all there. So we just got here, but we didn't know there was gonna be loud music. <laughs> so we're not trying to get copyright. I know it is a rager, huh? Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I can't have the music in the background. Um, y'all, look how many vendors they have. There's over 200 on this whole stretch here and then all the way down on the other side. But we're gonna walk around. I don't know what we want first, but we definitely wanna try a bunch of stuff, huh? This is our first stop. We got the spicy, Champ, what is it called? Champ Spicy. The Champ Spicy, looks bussin', huh? Yum. I think we're gonna go get a few things and a drink and then we'll do a taste test. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to Vegan Street Fair for hooking us up with a fast pass. You guys, look how long the lines are. And there's literally no one in the fast pass line. So if you guys ever come here, it's worth getting a fast pass because the lines are hella long. We came to Drippin' Wings and we got the ATL, which is a buffalo and lemon pepper together. They look so bomb. Okay, we're posted up to try a little taste test on the wings. I was about to ask, do these, do these have bones? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dip it in. Yum. Mm. Those are good. They taste like grilled. Like you can taste the grilled flavor. Oh my God. Like the smokiness. Yeah. Wow. These are so good. Wait, I thought they're cauliflower. I think they might be like soy based. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh my god. 10 out of 10. Fire. These are amazing. I wish I had a fork. They gave us a spork. It's a little hard, but but doable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so good. Oh my god. The flavor we got is ATL, which is buffalo sauce and lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Mixed That's together. A good combination. It's a hybrid. Oh my god, this is literally. Mm -hmm. I prefer this over any wing any day. The flavor, the smokiness, like everything is like on point. Mm. Last but not least. Mm. We're gonna have to find where they're located because I want to go back and get 10 orders of this and try their other flavors because this was so good. A little POV. This one looks fire. You want to take the first bite? You can. Are you sure? Yeah. These are actually deep fried enoki mushrooms. They look like this. And they're supposed to resemble like chicken. Mm. Oh my god. It's gonna be hard to get everything once we get to the middle though. Dude. Oh my God. Dude. 10 out of 10, huh? Yeah, nice guy. Mm -hmm. Good fire. Mm. It's really oily though, so I couldn't eat a full one by myself. Reason. Yeah. Super greasy. Little, yeah. Because it's like fried and I think mm -hmm. the oil's like all in between mm -hmm. the oh little god. mushrooms. Oh my god, this is so good though. Y'all, we just got some pupusas and some platanos. Oh my god. I cannot wait to chow down, mama. Oh my god. 
bomb. The buffaloes are so freaking fire. Mmm. 10 out of 10. Everything's yeah. been so freaking good. Mmm. Hot. Let me try. Dude, that is amazing. Careful, it's hot. It's super hot. How fire is that? Wow. We gotta learn how to make them. It's hot. Dude, good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like you can eat it for dessert too if you want. Like just by itself. Boy, yeah. Uh... Wow. drinkers and got a watermelon kombucha. Dude, this looks bomb. We'll do a taste test. Ready? Mm, that's so bomb. Mm. Oh my god, you gotta try it. Bomb, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So these are the flavors they have. They're so good. Y'all, that pineapple dragon fruit, what was it? Like a, like a dole whip. soft serve pineapple. vibe? Yeah. Oh my god. And you guys know, I don't even like pineapple flavor. I only like pineapple fruit, like the actual fruit. But that was so freaking good. And the kombucha, everything so far has been phenomenal. I don't know what that place was called, but they were bomb. We just picked up some vegan spices from Jada Brands. Got a bunch of goodies. Okay, I can't carry them all. And then we're getting one of these too, which is a plant-based chicken mix, so. Thank you. We're now checking out the other end and we have Saul and Kim. They pulled up, oh, we lost Kim. <laughs> Kim, we lost you. <laughs> Camila! <laughs> Dang, look how fancy that is. <laughs> Ellen got a strawberry lemonade. We just came to this booth from Brooklyn, New York, baby. But they're out of the mac and cheese rolls, which I'm sad, because I wanted to try those. Oh, the meatballs look good. Look at the tiny little donuts. They're like tiny little rings from this place called Loopholes from Atlanta. Mm, oh my god. What are these called? Like a potato? Tornado potato. <laughs> Tornado potato. Oh my god. That's a Cajun so one? Good. Damn, that looks good. You just like rip these slice. That one looks good. Let me Boya. try it. And then we have the birria wrap with what? Mac and cheese? You gotta do a taste test. Macaroni salad. Bomb? Bomb. I wanna try it. Y'all, this was 20 bucks. <laughs> Me. <laughs> that was fun, huh? Very fun. <laughs> Little vegan moment. We should definitely come back next year if we're still living in LA. <laughs> Look how sexy he looks in the light here. Right underneath <laughs> the lamppost. Food was so good, I'm so full. So good. I feel like I could have ate more, I could have tried more, but I'm like, full but I'm not stuffed so I don't feel like disgusting right now but there was so much good food I think the only thing I didn't like was the birria I feel like mm, the consomme had like cinnamon and like cloves or something in it it was like just not eh. especially being spoiled with mama Laura's I feel like it was just just not the vibe the only thing that we forgot to bring was baby wipes shout out to Kim of course she had baby wipes on deck because she has kids but that's the only thing I would highly recommend bringing because obviously your hands get so like dirty and greasy and I'm glad we had the backpack too because we were able to put all of our goodies in there but yeah that is pretty much it for this vlog thanks for joining us let us know which one we should pull up to next I know there's other like street fairs where they have like a lot of good food even if it's not vegan they probably have some with vegan options but let us know where we should go next I think in October there's one in Vegas that has it's like
like almost as big as that one. Oh really? Maybe Ooh, that sounds that. fun. Maybe a little Vegas trip. I'm closing out the video on my phone because it's just too dark for my camera right now. So sorry about the quality. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. We love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.